in this tutorial, we're going to learn about the skin modifier in Blender and how you can use it to speed up your modeling workflow. So if you've ever used the sculpting application ZBrush, you can think of the skin modifier a lot like Z spheres because they work in a very similar way. In Blender, you can take a single edge and apply a skin modifier to build up geometry around that edge. So let's take a closer look at how you can use this tool. So I have a basic model I've created using the skin modifier. If we kind of zoom in here, you can see that basically what I have here is kind of just a skeleton or kind of a stick figure mesh using these edges that I've extruded and I've applied a skin modifier. And you can see you can create pretty complex shapes like these hands here and these fingers. And you can just go right in and as you move each vertex, the skin modifier will adapt to that movement and the surrounding geometry and topology will kind of change a little bit depending on how you move each one of these vertices. And you can see that I have kind of just a basic reference image in here. Turn on wireframe here. And you can see that the resulting mesh is very clean. It's made up of mostly quads. So this is great to create a very basic base mesh and if you wanted to import it into a sculpting application like ZBrush or Mudbox, or just continue modeling it and adding details inside of Blender here. So let's kind of go over some of the basics of it. I'm going to go ahead and open up a new scene here. All right, here we go. So what I have set up here is just a basic scene with some reference in the front and side view that we can kind of base this skin modifier on so we can kind of have something to follow along with. So the first thing we want to do is drop in a plane. So we go over here to our toolbar. We can go to Create, Plane. And then I'll just drop in a plane there. And what we want to do is actually just have one vertex to work with and use that to begin to extrude what we're going to apply the skin modifier to. So if we go down here and change this from Object Mode to Edit Mode, and if we press Alt-M on the keyboard, we can go to the Merge menu. And if we do At Center, going to merge all those vertices into one. So now we have basically one vertex to work with. So if we pop back into the front view, we can press E on the keyboard to extrude this up. And if we press Z, it's going to lock it into the Z axis. And we can extrude another vertex up, creating an edge. We'll kind of just do it sort of on the base of the neck there. All right, so we have this single edge created right here. And if we go back into object mode, we can go over here to our properties panel. And if we go to modifier and select add modifier and then apply a skin modifier to this. And now you can see that some geometry was added around that single edge we created. And if we press Z, we can see that we're working with some really nice resolution. It's created even quads for us there. All right, so we're going to need to add a few more edges to this to begin to create the basic upper body of this character here. So if we press 1, we can go into our front view. We can see that right now it's kind of very low resolution. So let's go ahead and add some more resolution to this. If we go to Add Modifier again, and this time apply a subdivision surface. So now you can see that we have some more resolution to work with. So we need to create the kind of the basic shape of our character's torso here. So if we go into edit mode, we can shift select both of these vertices and press W to subdivide it, which creates a new vertex right in the middle. And now what we can do is go back into our front view and kind of begin scaling these out to create the width of our character. So if we select this bottom vertex here and press Control A, this is going to allow us to scale this and you can see that the geometry follows along with that. We can kind of bring this out as well, bring this out slightly, and we can go to our side view, kind of begin shaping this how we want. It doesn't have to be perfect. Again, this is going to act as a base mesh that you can bring into a sculpting application like ZBrush or Mudbox if you wanted to add more detail or just continue working with it inside of Blender. So I'll kind of bring that in slightly. Make his chest a little bit skinnier. All right, that's looking good. 
So now what we want to do is extrude out his shoulder and create this arm here. So we can select this top vertex, press E on the keyboard to extrude another edge out, and you can see that the skin modifier follows along with it, creating geometry around that edge we just extruded. But we need to apply a mirror modifier so that this shoulder gets mirrored across and we only really have to create everything once. So I'm just going to undo that and go to Add Modifier. And I'm going to go to Mirror. And now if I select this top vertex and press E and X, we can lock it into the X axis and we can just extrude this out, creating kind of that shoulder area. But I want you to take notice of something. You can see that we're getting some really bad intersection going on here with our mesh. And that's because we have these modifiers stacked incorrectly. So what we want to do is take this subdivision modifier. Sorry, we want to take that below the skin modifier. But what we want to do is take this mirror modifier and bring it up a couple of spaces until it's above the skin modifier. So we want to have the skin modifier kind of sandwiched between the subdivision surface modifier and the mirror modifier. And now you can see that the resolution is much cleaner here. And if we bring our view into the front view there, we can shape this, kind of scale it in a little bit, to kind of create the basic shape of our character's shoulder. We can kind of scale that out slightly. So now we have the basic shape of the shoulder, and what we can do is Press E again to create another extrusion out to the elbow. Kind of bring it in. Maybe move that up slightly and do another extrusion by pressing E and bring it out to the wrist there. And press Control A to scale that in. All right, so we have this very basic shape going on here. And now what we want to do is create the neck and head. So we can go into our side view again. And with this top vertex selected, we can press E on the keyboard to do another extrusion and kind of bring it up right at the base of the neck there. And press E again to do another extrusion right at the top of the neck. And we can press Control A and kind of scale that in, to kind of fit closer to our reference there. And kind of do the same on this one right here. All right, and you can see that just with a little adjustment, our geometry changes quite a bit, so you want to be really careful on how much you adjust it and how much tweaking you're doing because it does have quite an effect on the resulting mesh as you change it. All right, so we're going to select this top vertex, press E to extrude it all the way up to the top of the head, and we can press Control A to kind of scale the head out to get it kind of closer in line with our reference here. And now what we can do is shift select this other vertex, and then press W, subdivide, to add another vertex right in the middle of those two vertices here. And then now we can move this kind of in better line with our reference. It doesn't have to be perfect. Again, this is just a very rough base mesh that you can begin to add more detail as you need it. And it looks like we need a little bit more resolution to work with. So what we can do is go down here to our subdivision modifier and just change this from 1 to 2. You can see that we get some more resolution to work with. And now we can begin to shape this even more. Scale it out slightly. Move the neck. Scale it up a little bit. Scale that in. And now, as you see, we're as we have more resolution to work with, it's behaving more how we want. We don't get that kind of strange geometry issue as we change these. Since we have a little bit more resolution we can work with, we can scale that out just a little bit. All right, so we have the very basic shape of the head in. And now what we can do is just go into our front view, press Control A, and then X to lock it in on the X axis and kind of scale the head in just a little bit. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Select this vertex right here, go back into the front view, Control A, kind of scale that in as well. All right, great. Now that was just a basic example of how to use the skin modifier in Blender. So be sure to check back to the Digital Tutors blog for more Blender tutorials like this one.